Hey guys and welcome back to Living with Pixels. In this video I'm going to show you how you can manage all of your client websites in one simple dashboard so you don't have to go into all the websites and update the plugins manually. It's all in one simple dashboard. Let's take a look. Okay, so I have already showed this platform in one of my previous videos um, and people were very interested in it. So today we're going to dive into Manage WP. Uh, what it is, it's one place, all of your client websites and you can update all of your client plugins with one simple click. This also means that you don't have to log into every single website, uh, which takes a lot of time. So let's just get started. So Manage WP is a company by GoDaddy uh, and GoDaddy is a hosting company, a very big hosting company. Uh, I don't host my websites on GoDaddy, but I use this platform uh, that they, I think, acquired. It's pretty cool because it will save you a lot of time. And what's even greater is that the whole platform is free. And of course there are paid add-ons, uh, otherwise they couldn't stay in business, of course, but the main parts of the platform are free. So what you can do is you can sign up here for free if you want to just sign up with your email and a password and then you will get a dashboard that looks something like this. So first of all, I will show you a few features and then I will show you how you can get your websites into this platform. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is that you can set up backups uh, in this platform. So let's say this is one of my clients website. You click on the dashboard icon and you can see that I've already uh, set up the backups over here. So this feature makes a backup every month of the website so when your website crashes you always have an extra backup uh, and that is a free feature you can also restore a backup as you can see from here you can clone a website to a different one i've actually never used this feature but it's just super nice to have that extra backup then the next feature which is actually the biggest one is updating all the plugins so as you can see i have 113 plugins that i need to update uh, i update all of my client websites uh, at the first day of the month uh, sometimes the second or the third but at least in the first week and what i do then is i click on update all you can click over here and then all of your client's websites will be uh, updated all of the plugins i don't like to do it that way because um i want to check every website if it still runs because sometimes when you update update plugins things break that is the only real downside of wordpress uh, is that sometimes it happens but i have to say in at least a year uh, nothing went wrong on my websites because what i try to do is keep the websites as clean as possible i only try to work with elementor pro um, and not a lot of add-ons for elementor just keeping it clean and simple with a few extra plugins let's just go to the website so what i always do so let's go to this client website is i click on this and then i just update the plugins from here so i click on this and i click on update and then those two plugins will be updated in the background. Then I can go to another one in the meantime. Let's say I go to this website and I also click on update. And then when I go back, maybe this first one is done. So let's just click on that. No, it's still loading. And now it's done. And here you can see that this little ball turns green, as you can see in the overview right here. So now you can see that this website and this website is done with updating the plugins. That is nice. But what I always do is check the website to see if it still works. Uh, so I just comment click on the URL like this and I just open the website and I just scroll to most of the important pages to see if everything still looks good but as I said before if you keep your websites clean then not a lot of things can go wrong and as you can see everything is still fine let's check this website that looks good all right and I'm doing this a little bit fast right now for this video, but normally I just take one minute per website. I just click on a few pages and then I'm done. Uh, that being said, I only do this for the clients that pay me for monthly maintenance, of course. If you wanna know uh, my business trick, how I do that, how much I charge, then you should watch my Elementor Pro video. Uh, I've put the video in the card, I think the card is over there, or you can check the link in the description uh, because I charge my clients for monthly maintenance. And in that way, they don't have to worry about the plugins, about the updates and the websites will run smoothly. All right, so that is the second feature that I wanted to show you. Now what's also a nice feature is the fast login without the login details. So if you've added a website into Manage WP, then you don't have to remember the login details of every single website. And of course you can use a password manager like I use, but this is even faster. So if I wanna log in to the admin panel of this website of my client, I just click on this icon, open WP dashboard, and then it will automatically log in to the 
the WordPress dashboard because I've connected this website to the Manage WP. So that is also a super nice feature. And what's also super nice is the website reports. So for example, for this website, um, I send a website report to this client every month. So if you scroll down over here, you can create a client report. So you can create a new report over here. I can give it a title, I just leave this blank. You can create a template from here. You can select the language over here and you can set up the date and range. So what I do then is I say, okay, I wanna make a report from uh, the 1st of June to the last day of June. All right, and what do I want to see in the report? I want to see the backups because my client needs to see that the backups are still there. It gives them a uh, safe feeling. I want to show the analytics. Maybe if they have a web shop, you can check WooCommerce. But let's just say I only check these two. Then I click on customize and here you can customize the design. Uh, you can add in a logo. I've already uh, created a template over here. Pretty easy, but you can also do a basic layout as you can see over here with their style. I just leave this blank. I don't add anything here. And I just click on preview and download. And here you can see it has created a PDF, um, a simple PDF where the client can see like, hey, there is a new backup with a little bit more information, the current version, uh, how many plugins there are on the website, but also the analytics of the website. So that is also something that they want to see. And the client report, uh, some clients like it, some clients don't. But for most of your clients, it's just a nice way to have a little bit of contact with them because if they see a new email from you every month in their inbox with just a simple report like this, they will remember you much easier when somebody they know needs a website, right? Or they want to change the website. It's just a very simple and, and free way to stay into the minds of your clients. And it also gives them the feeling that you actually manage the website because you do, you update the website, you back up the website. So in that way, um, it's just a nice experience for your clients. So you can download the PDF from here or you can email it straight from here uh, to their email. But what I oftentimes do is just download it as a PDF. So if you click on the name over here, then the download of the PDF will start and then you can check it in your finder. It's just a simple PDF that you can email to your clients. And by the way, you can customize all the colors to your brand color. It's not very customizable, but it's customizable enough for a simple report. All right, and then the last feature that I wanted to show are the paid add-ons. Uh, so let's say that your client wants to know a little bit more about the website. Maybe they wanna know how much uptime the website has. So that means if the website was down for a few minutes or an hour. Uh, normally, you don't know that. But with Manage WP, you have this one over here, Uptime Monitor, and you can add this to your website if you click on Activate, and it's only $1 a month. Uh, so if you activate this add-on, and you can just charge your clients for this. Then you can also put this in your report. So then it will say uh, the website has a 99% uh, uptime. And that means that there was only, let's say, a five minutes off time this whole month, or maybe just 100%, right? Or you have something like performance. If you wanna see the performance of a website, how fast is the website loading? Some clients also wanna notice, maybe they've added a lot of content, a lot of blog posts, for example, to the website, and they still wanna know if the website is fast enough you can add this add-on to this website and then also include that data into your report. And in that way, you can give your client a lot more data if they want to about their website. As you can see, I haven't done this for, for my website because my client is just happy in the way it is, but you can do this if you want to. Okay, so now let me show you how you can install this. It's super easy. You just go to your overview over here and you click on add a new website. So what you do is you just type in the URL. So let's say this is the website of my client you just copy the URL like this you paste it over here uh, right now I'm just gonna put it two over here because I've already added that domain uh, and then you can press enter and here you can log in with your WordPress login uh, what you can also do is use the connection key instead so what you have to do is you have to go to the website and then log in you only have to do this once of course you have to go to plugins click on add new and then search for Manage WP, and then you will get a plugin called Manage WP Worker. As you can see, 1 million installs. Uh, so you can click on that, click on activate, then go to install plugins, scroll down and click on connection management. And here you can see the connection key. I've blurred that right now because otherwise you can add this website to your dashboard. But you can copy this key from here. Just click on copy, go back over here and just paste the connection key over here. And then just click on add website and then the website will be added to this dashboard. And that's all it is. 
And again, this is totally free. It will save you a lot of time, but I want to stress out that you need to check the websites after you've updated the plugins because sometimes errors can occur. Again, I've not had any errors in a year, but sometimes it happens. So just spend a minute per month per website to check if everything is all right, because the last thing that you want is that your client will find out that the website is down before you know it. But Manage WP also helps you a little bit with that because if there's something wrong, they also also sometimes give you errors over here in this notification bell. I don't have any right now, but sometimes when there's an error, uh, Manage WP will also show you like, hey, there's something wrong on this website and then you can check it. So for now, thank you for watching. And if you want to know how to deliver a whole website to a client, uh, I also have a video about that that you can find in the description or the cards. That goes really into depth on how to set up the analytics that you can show in your report and how to make the whole website ready for when your website is done. All right, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.